Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the next video on our 3D printer series. This one will be how to use the program Repetier Host. So Repetier Host, basically what it does is it will slice an object and it will send the G code that the slicing made and it will send it to the printer. So this is the website, uh, repetier.com. And basically you just go down, it's free, and you just select your computer type and you download it like you normally would any other, I guess, application. Once you download it, open it up. Okay, and it should look like this. So first you have to plug in your printer. Um, there should be a USB cable that will connect your printer to your computer. So once you, get, once you plug your printer in, and you have to make sure your printer is on too, then you press connect, and then it should say connection opened. Now, if you're on the print panel, it'll say that there are commands waiting. That basically means like it's doing stuff, and then this down here is all the commands that, that the, the Repetier host has sent your computer. So after you're connected, you want to go to object placement, and you want to make sure you're in 3D view. You could also be on the temperature curve, and that just shows the temperature of your printer. So go to 3D view, and then make sure you have your file. Um, if you want to see how to make a 3D like model um, and export it into a file, you can look at my Tinkercad video. So once you have that file, you go to add STL file down here and you click on your STL file that you want to print. So let's say I want to print this carabiner. You press open and it should just drop it into the plane. So from there you can go to this little truck moving thing, and press that, and then move your object around the plane onto where you want to put it. So you put your object on the plane. Once you like where it is, oh, you can also scale it up and down with this up here. So say I want it to be smaller, I can put uh, 0.5, and then it'll be half as small. And then if I want it to be bigger, I can put a bigger number. But I'll just print up the normal size. So the next thing you want to do is go to the slicer tab up here and, in order, and this is where you slice the object. So I use slicer. Um, it's spelled like this. So let's go to the website it's up here. So it's at slicer. Make sure the E is a three. Slicer.org and then you just, oops, you go to download now and then you basically just download the latest file for whatever computer you have. So after you download Slicer, um, you want to configure your printer to, um, I guess, to Repetier Host. So whatever platform you're on, you should be able to, your printer company should have made a manual on how to set it up. So once you have the basic setup on like, you know, what printer you have, you go to configure. And from there, it opens up Slicer. And so from there, you can make, just see how I have like a bunch of different, uh, I guess, printer settings. You can make um, printer settings from here. So let's see, I'll go from here. So here you can go to layers and this is under print settings. You have layers and perimeters. So you can set the layer height and um, just a lot of different things. It's very customizable. Um, you can do solid layers, and they have infill, which is, fill, so fill density is the percent infill you have. So um, if you don't want to use up as much filament, you can do like 0.2 um, fill density, and then you won't use up nearly as much filament. And then you can also have a fill pattern. So I like to do a honeycomb and rec, uh, rec linear, but you can do concentric um, or any of these things. Um, yeah, and so you can do, so you can just take time and, uh, look at all the settings because it really makes your print 10 times better if you just take a really, uh, good chunk of time and just hash out all the settings and make sure they're exactly how you want it to. Um, same thing with filament, except there's not as many. Um, you can, so yeah, we have a bunch of different filaments here. Um, and you just set you know, the diameter of the filament, you can select the extrusion multiplier, which is how much it'll, I guess, spit out, how much filament will spit out at a time. 
um, and then cooling set settings. And then printer settings is basically the area that your uh, 3D printer company would send to you. So since I use the Vugobot, we, um, the these maker, the company, uh, has a very clear guideline on how to set up um, all of Repetier host uh, printer settings. So once you have um, the settings you want, um, I'll just cut the changes. Okay. Um, so once you the printer settings are how you want, you would select the setting the uh, settings. So I do this one. And um, let's see, I'm printing in ABS. So once you do that, you click Slice with Slicer. OK, so after the uh, file has been exported to the G code, this could take a while. So um, smaller objects won't take as long. Larger objects might take a very long time to uh, slice and do the G code. So, you just have to be patient. Um, it also depends on your computer speed as well. So once it exports um, the file to the G code, just make sure that the file is exactly where you want it um, so that you can prep your 3D printing bed accordingly. So now that it's placed, you go to temperature curve and you go to print panel. And this is where all the fun stuff happens. So you just need to, so since we're printing in ABS, I'm going to set the temperature so that it'll just preheat. There you go. And then this is where uh, you would feed in your filament. So in order, so you press extrude to extrude the filament, that's how you feed filament in. Or you can retract and that's how you uh, take filament out, like if you want to swap colors or materials. Um, and here you can manually adjust your printer by clicking these buttons here. It, you can adjust the X, Y, and Z axes. You can also return them home as well. Um, and then after, so then the temperature curves are right here. So this will basically tell you real time how hot your printer is. Um, and so once the temperatures are at these purple lines, that's usually a good time to start printing. And you would just go up to this corner, press run, and uh, that's about it. So if you like this video, you can press the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I'll be happy to help. And uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So see you next time.